Isso. Ah. What is going on, guys? It's your boy Shady Mike Gaming, and welcome to another NBA 2K22 jump shot fix. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Orlando Magic Legend, one of the greatest scorers I have ever seen play the game of basketball, Tracy McGrady. Now, before we get into that, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Recently, I saw that about 76% of you who are watching are actually not subscribed to the channel so if you like this type of content and appreciate the attention to detail go ahead and hit that sub button and subscribe with your notifications turned on so first and foremost uh someone on stream shout out to everyone on stream who helped me get this jump shot done even though y'all was on there acting up um Someone made a comment and they said, hey, and I thought it was funny to me. They said, I don't think I've ever seen Tracy McGrady shoot the ball the same way twice. Um, and he was definitely not wrong in, in that statement when, when he said that Tracy uh, is an athletic specimen who was able to adjust his shot for uh, whatever situation he was in. So with that being said, um, my shot may be different from other T-Max uh, that you've seen. Um, and, and my belief is that's probably the reason you're watching this video right now because it is different from uh, what's out there so uh this request came in um the focus is to be on the orlando magic version of tracy mcgrady so we're we're talking about we're focusing on those young athletic days of t mac so let's go ahead and get right into it all right y'all so first and foremost when we take a look at tracy mcgrady's base um extreme extreme athleticism um but we have have options here so i actually came we came up with one base on stream and then off stream i just thought of another one just playing around so first and foremost we're going to focus on a textbook tracy mcgrady standstill jump shot the number one thing you're looking for he's going to have his right foot in front of his left he's going to bring the ball in with a slight actually moderate dip i would say basically down to his waist and he's going to elevate with a lot of elevation and he's going to kick his feet forward A lot of athleticism, a lot of vertical. That's uh, as basic as a base can get, but extremely athletic. That was the first base that we were able to capture in game. Now, look, we've got footage that first base is as accurate as it can get. Um, and we, we figured that out on stream. It looks great. It's extremely accurate. But for me personally, and, and I spent a lot of time growing up watching T-Mac. When I think of T-Mac shooting, that's not what comes to mind. What, what I think about when I see T-Mac shooting is that leg kick, kind of that fade that he did. So I off stream was looking to see how close to that can we get. There's no base. He's not mocap, so there's no base that really captures his leg kick that he did. But I, I found one that I thought was similar. I found one that I thought was close. And it looks to me a lot more like what we've seen from T-Mac in game um, and I, I don't know why I'm pausing but I, I guess we can we can just go ahead and take a look at it now live like when he shoots it's not the full fade but it does have that right leg kick and that kind of captures just the athleticism especially when you're coming from the mid-range especially when you're coming off of like maybe a little 
Watch this, maybe a little snatch back. Boom. You know what I mean? Like you you really feel like T Mac with this bass. And that's what I was going for. I think that's you know one of the most iconic features of, of T Mac. Um so I wanted to make sure that I included this in the video as well. Now, regardless of which bass you decide to use, again, we're going to have options. Uh, the release is, in my opinion, a lot more straightforward. Um, with Tracy McGrady and his athleticism, it's a lot of elevation on the shot, and he has a very high release point as well. And with him standing at 6'8", probably not blocking this shot. So Tracy McGrady is going to bring the ball very high up above his head, really towards that center point he's gonna have both of his elbows pointed to the sky for the most part when you take a look at the shot from the reverse angle that shooting elbow is going to line up with the rim again very textbook on his offhand something we wanted to focus on is he has kind of a waving motion with all of his shots and that was something that we really wanted to uh make sure we capture i saw i'm sorry the the camera's fighting with me as usual but when he comes up for the shot you're going to take a look at his offhand and he's just going to kind of wave forward and we wanted to make sure that we captured that because that was one thing that we saw in uh every aspect of all of his jump shots fadeaways pull-ups and things of that nature now um i think it's i would technically consider it a, a thumb flick all of the videos that i was watching analyzing his jump shot were saying it's more of a soft release um but i don't know it looked like a flick sometimes to me so that's okay um we have some options there um he, i guess he doesn't really flick his thumb but he kind of rolls it off of that inside thumb and has that motion going forward so um this is actually extremely similar to our Dwayne wade shot um very similar concept here and i'm happy that we were able to capture that for Tracy McGrady, but regardless of which base that we go with, that's the one, uh, the form is, is pretty straightforward for us. All right, guys, so as we head into the menu, taking a look at Tracy McGrady's jump shot, the base and first jump shot that we looked at with the more textbook squared up base is going to be base 35. You, um, to get that release, the, to get the release point, you use the Michael Jordan release to get that high release above his head. But in order to get that hand waving thumb flick motion, whatever you want to call it, um, it's release uh, 28 and you blend that to 60. Now, um, I've had had it on slow for the whole time uh the whole time i showcased it it was on slow um i personally think i'm going to use very slow i love putting my jump shots on very slow especially because i'm a real uh, shooting percentage player um it, i just think it just shows a little bit more athleticism so that's what i usually use per personally um in order to get that se secondary base that we show the one that has a little bit more athleticism the one that has that leg kick it's got him fading a little bit so you can see it kind of changes the orientation of the body it actually looks terrible in the menu so don't freak out as you can see it looked much better in game so don't freak out by the way that um it looks in the menu but we go with jump shot one to capture that so as we get into the moving jump shots we start first and foremost with the free throw we go with free throw 49 very basic form but the two major features the key features we were looking to capture here is number one the placement of his feet um and also him holding the follow through with both hands now i actually felt like the kobe bryant uh free throw had a better placement of the feet more accurate but it didn't hold both hands for the follow through so i went with free throw 49 that's a little bit of personal preference
One that's not personal preference, however, for the pull-up uh, 2K, again, got rid of a lot of the athletic pull-ups, so there's really only one. We go with Pro 3 here. The, the major thing that we're trying to capture is when Tracy McGrady goes to his right, that is his signature pull-up. He's going to have that athletic leg kick of his right leg every time he pulls up going to his right, so that is a very important key feature that we're going to be looking to capture all throughout this jump shot Um, as we transition over into the spin jumper, this is a new one. Now, I went with Michael Jordan here, so let me preface my statements by saying this. Number one, if you're using a torrented version of the game that's not updated, you're not going to have this jump shot. Also, if you're in 2K20, uh, this is not. This was patched in by 2K on um, the new Michael Jordan spin jumper. But what it captures, again, is that athletic um, right 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 leg kick um so that's why i went with michael jordan if you don't have that available to you um i suggest looking for something else you're going to want to look for something with the right leg kick as we move to the hop jumper um the step back um was something that uh trace mcgrady did integrate into his game in the later years didn't see him do it a lot for the magic um but we did see him do it a couple times for the uh rockets as well so uh the number one thing is is a very athletic step back um obviously he's got a lot of length but we're still looking for the same exact thing the athleticism he kicks his right leg out that's why we go with trey burke on the hop jumper really wasn't any more options there As we move over to the layups and dunks, I really like default swing for Tracy McGrady, especially over something like long athletes. Um, the reason being is it has some of those more athletic layups, but it also has some more simple layups and finger rolls and really nice looking reverses. Now, you could argue you could definitely go with um, Kyrie Irving or even... Um, circus for Tracy McGrady because we did see him do a 360 layup a couple times but I thought default swing uh, fit the best with a lot of the finger rolls and different layups that we had seen now as we move on to the dunks we're going to have a lot of different dunk packages for Tracy McGrady I'm going to go ahead and let those play out Uh, two that I wanted to bring some attention to I gave him basic 360s because I saw him do kind of a one-handed reverse dunk that was meant to be a reverse but it was technically a 360 so I gave him the basic 360s um, I also went ahead and gave him the sideline uh, the excuse me the baseline reverses because we'd seen him do a reverse Now, as we go to the post game, this one was tough to differentiate between, but we're going for the athletic the athletic fadeaway that creates a lot of space um it was very tempting to go with kobe bryant here but um i went with post fade four it looks a lot more like michael jordan as opposed to kobe bryant Now, for the handles, um, I don't do this often, but I did change some things, and you don't have the option to change this if you're on 2K21 or 2K20, but scroll all the way down to the triple threat style. I changed this to pro. I thought this had the most accurate ball fakes for T-Mac.
um, as you go into the signature size up again I don't know why they took his signature size up out from last year um, his signature signature combo um, is okay but I don't like it um, so my go-to for this um, I would recommend Zach Levine is the most accurate to what we've seen from T-Mac wide legs low base Zach Levine dribble combo is where it's at now if you want something a little bit more flashy you can definitely go with Jason Kidd as well they're right next to each other so you can go with the Jason Kidd package as well that is a really nice alternate All right, guys, and that's going to do it for this jump shot. Again, thank you so much for all of the support. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment to help me with that algorithm. And be sure to follow me on all of my social networks at Shady Mike Gaming. Um, if you're, we are going to be uh, streaming live tonight, 9 p.m. on YouTube. Uh, we're going to be working on our next player um, on the poll. I'll have the poll up here. I'm not sure who it's going to be. We put Jay. Jalen Brown up. Uh, we put Jordan Poole up. Um, who else did we put up? We put Brandon Ingram up. So it's going to be one of those three players, depending on how this poll plays out. So number one, make sure you go vote, 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 vote. And number two, make sure you pull up to the stream and say what's up. But other than that, guys, it is your boy, Shady Mike Gaming. I'm signing out. Peace. Threes.